You got worms? If you don't, you should. We're gonna show you how to use them. Before we show you the worms, let us show you how the worms travel, which is first class. There's enough air and food in the box to get these worms to you. You do need to remember though, to pick them up the day they arrive. The worms are packed in their own bedding that they're raised in. This helps them to acclimate to their new home, which could be a bucket, a bag, or a bin. If you want more information on this, you can go to revivalgardening.com forward slash worm bins and then choose what works best for you. Now let's take these worms and put them in their new home. People raise worms for lots of reasons, for fishing, composting, or for making nature's version of organic fertilizer, worm castings. Have your bedding ready to receive the worms. This bedding can be a lot of different things. We're using a blend of Florida peat and composted horse manure. Gently lay your worms out on the surface and let them crawl into their new bed. You just need to remember three things to take care of your worms. Food, moisture, and temperature. The worms can get a little thirsty after the trip, so you need to give them a drink. A cup of water per pound of worms should be fine. Then feed them your leftover fruits and veggies and supplement with our worm feed. And keep the bedding itself between about 60 and 85 degrees and your worms will be happy. So that's it for today. I hope you see building healthy living soil to give you healthy food is a relatively easy thing to do. If you got any questions or you wanna reach out to us, go to revivalgardening.com. Thank you.